I'll start a little bit with the nutrient timing aspect, and it's more important for women to understand that we do better in a fed state. When we're looking at sex differences from birth, we have distinct differences within the muscle that allow us to already be super endurant and be able to burn a lot of fat for fuel. So we look at fasted training and getting blood glucose control and better cognition and that parasympathetic outcome. That's all based on male data. When we start looking at what's happening for women, we start seeing glucose intolerance. We start seeing more of a sympathetic drive. We see a greater amount of visceral adiposity. So when we're talking about timing of our food, we want to think about it as how are we fueling for the stress in the day? So if we get up and we're like, I have to do this training session, even if it's only 20 minutes, and you're like, I only have 20 minutes, it's not on the back of a black cup of coffee. It might be coffee with some protein in it or half a banana in your coffee. So that you are signaling to the hypothalamus, yes, there's some nutrition coming in, and then you follow it up with breakfast. So then the hypothalamus is like, oh, that was a strong stress, but I can overcome it and I can start repairing because I have nutrition coming in.